hello guys welcome back to my channel today's vlog is just going to be about food stores in nigeria wow can you imagine food stores is gradually getting higher by the day even i don't know how the poor the poor are feeding i don't know how the average are feeding and the way at which these are getting higher i don't know people find it difficult to eat people find it difficult to feed their children even i don't know if the minimum wage if it can afford some civil servants to even get food to eat is 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 very serious it's very very serious okay um the other day i went to the market i found out that even cost of rice is is caricating is getting high cost of rice i remember then you can afford a bag of rice for instance seven thousand yes seven thousand dollars but now you're talking about forty two thousand forty five thousand in this period we've not even gotten to december yet and food stuff is already high okay what about the children apart from rice that the children eat every day what of other 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 food stuffs what of babies newborn babies that are always on um, milk for instance their milk is getting high every day every day is even is it that you go to the market is scarce or you go it's high you can't nothing is even coming down in the market value no nothing is nothing is even going down everything is getting higher by the day increase by the day i don't know is it only the rich that can eat is it only the rich that can afford what about the poor is the government doing something or are they not doing something i don't know it's a question that has been on my mind for days now ever since i got back i've been thinking what what are the government doing what are the government doing and are we are we are we going to starve to death or are the government going to come to our rescue because it is it is really serious it's very serious it is we've not even gotten to december whereby there are there are different uh, events or i don't know or is it because of the election coming for that things are not are not high even though the election is coming for but still but still things are high things are high is it the cost of food is it the cost of um transportation is it is it fuel name it a lot of things are high or oh, i just don't know oh okay for instance now to get your gas now how much is now a kg of a, of gas gas is either 750 per kg how do i remember when i was buying three kg then in school i was buying three kg for 700 750 but now a kg is 750 some are selling more than some are be selling less i don't know depending on your area depending on where you stay even 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 your your salary i don't know where you work i don't know where people work but i keep asking i keep saying is it that your salary is feeding you well most people now don't even depend on their salary they do one or two jobs like for instance if you go to some civil servant some place of work you see one or two people bringing some items for sale in order to make money even their fellow civil servants apart from people that are coming in even those that are working in the office also do one or two things to sell some goes to um to different big markets get some products come to their offices to sell just to make up additional money because the one that their employers are paying them is not even enough they have to go around to source for more more to source for more more money to feed even even if you you can afford it but still it is not still okay it's not still okay electricity now it is high it is high 
for those that are not even using prepaid, they are like cost of electricity. You come to the house, you see a uh, PHC and just come give you crazy bill. Okay, what if you're using a prepaid meter to recharge? It is even reducing. It's even reducing. Keeping is high. Even cost of building is high. I'm not talking of feeding. What of those that are living in a rented apartment? Every time the landlord is increasing the house rent. Where would they where, where, where would they start from? Are they thinking of the house rent? Are they thinking of food? Are they thinking of um shelter? What to wear? Your nepa bill? A lot of things. A lot of things. I just feel like we should if you know you have something doing, if you know you have another thing that is giving you extra income. My dear, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. Because sitting down in one place cannot get to something. That is my own. Sitting down in one place can't get you all what you need. Try and go out. Try and go out. Try and look for extra thing to do. If you're a housewife, you can start up a business. You can sell some of your freely used clothes. You don't use but are still in good quality that are still good you can sell them your clothes you can sell your bags or bags that are still in good quality you can sell your shoes that are also good to get to get yourself extra cash you can venture into other businesses you can sell things you can go to the market buy things you can even make um this um Peanuts, the chin chin, the donut, you can start something to make because the way this country is going to, ah, I don't know, I don't know. I can't just say, but it's something we have to do. We, 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 we have to do. Even those that are even buying in dollar, like now, dollar is 720 now, black market 720, and it gets increasing every day it is not even coming down it's going high it's going up and you're using dollar most people use dollar to buy things outside bring to nigeria to sell and as they're bringing those things you, you can't buy it cheap because you have to check all their expenses then give you price that you're going to get their their items things are very very expensive are you talking of um water for those that are living in a an environment that that their water are not good they buy water water too is expensive everything in Nigeria is expensive okay i remember then when we were growing up our parents are comparing are always complaining it's expensive it's expensive it's expensive now i'll go back to them and ask them are you still complaining it's expensive? We are complaining it's expensive then. If someone would have told us this was what we are going to see, who, most of us would say it's a lie. Even though things are expensive, you cannot get it. But now, look at the present situation we are into now. It has even skyrocketed. It's now more than what we were having then. So, I don't know. We just need to look for an alternative to make to, to to do something we just have to like build up build ourselves build ourselves it's not easy i know it's not easy a lot of people are complaining yes it's not even the rich there are some rich that are also complaining that is it's not easy but i i i, I always ask myself this our leaders are they not are they not hearing even though they are sitting in power, they are not crying the way we are crying. But they should also try and understand. We have representatives. We have those in House of Assembly. We have those in House of uh, House of Rep. Are they not the one to speak on our behalf? We put them there for a reason. We put them there to help us, but they are not helping us. Some are not helping. Some are helping. Some are not helping, but... We should, we should try to, if you have any of them in, 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 you know any of them, 
even though you know themselves, even though you know them, but still, they just go, I don't know, it just among themselves, they don't care about the promises. The politicians should just come to our aid. The government should come to our aid. The local government should come to our aid in the aspect of road construction because now the roads are very bad. The rain is 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 is, is more than bad. The roads are not nothing to talk about. The roads are even damaged. A lot of potholes everywhere and the spoil vehicles. A lot of potholes. The government they will come. This time they will tell you, and um, we're going to give you this, we're going to give you that. When you put us in power, you enjoy, you get this. Now they are in power, they are not even attending to our needs. They are not. We are crying every day, every night, but to no avail. What do we do? Nothing. Next election, they also come to tell us the same thing. Put us in power, put us in power. When we put you in power, you forget us. You forget all the things that you've promised us. And we are suffering. We put it there so that you would take care of the community. We are suffering. A lot of things are affecting us. A lot of things are affecting us. Anyway, we've come to the end of today's vlog. I know it's going to be very short. I and mean, it is very short. We'll come to the end of today's vlog. See you next time in my next vlog.